bleepers, how the devil are you? Okay, so I'm gonna go do some uh, detecting of uh, the metal, hopefully. Um, unfortunately, the weather is looking, uh, best way to describe it is changeable. Uh, you can't really see that. Let me let me turn your faces round. Yeah, it has rained, bleepers, which hopefully will soften the ground up a little bit because the ground has been rock hard because of the heat wave. Um, uh, it, it, oh, it's the apocalypse. The apocalypse is upon us, my friends. Well, probably not. Probably exaggerating a little bit. Uh, let me turn you back around again. It's just blooming nice to get out, if I'm honest. Blooming, I just want to get out there, start in earnest, get out there, do some metal detecting. Come on, the crops are coming off. Good times, happy times. Let's see what we can find. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes, guys. Just before I go out there. Um, it's a tad wet, if I'm honest. Maybe a couple of, um, maybe a couple of hours will do it, actually. <laughs> right, that is a penny. It's definitely a penny. But I'll tell you what, I think that might be Queen Victoria. Good day to you, Mum. I think it might be Queen Victoria. Looks like she's got a bun on the back of her head there, doesn't it? Let me do a quick clean up. Yes, it absolutely is. That's a really old coin, but I can't get a date off of it. It's down there somewhere. It might come up in proper cleaning afterwards. Ah, still not a bad little find, that. Well, I've got no idea what one of them is, but it's definitely a something. Okie dokie then, we have a coin or button situation in the clod right there. My money is on button, I think. Let's, uh, let's have a closer inspection, shall we, my friends? Yeah, it's just a bog standard button of nothingness. That's a nice little buckle. I think it's a buckle anyway, hold on. Pretty sure it is. Try and flick some of this earth out of it. There you go, give it a good flick in. Flick it to death, man. I'm doing it via the camera, that's why I can't, I'm, I'm actually just flicking mud. Uh, I do apologize for that. Uh, there you go, I did it again there. It's just a hobby of mine. Every now and again, I just like to go outside on a day like today, on a beautiful day. And I just feel compelled just to flick the mud like that. It's very satisfying. Sorry, oh, I do digress. I'll get back to the, <laughs> the object at hand. Yes, it is a buckle. I do believe it is a buckle, but I think it's just all very bent up. It's got the mid, the mud in there as well. There you go, that's a bit better. It's very unusual, actually. Very unusual indeed. Maybe not. Lord, do you know I'm not entirely sure, actually. Got a silver bit here as well. Hey, that's pretty cool, you know. I wonder if I could bend that back into shape. Ah, anyway, yes, very cool. I'm uh, pretty sure that's probably a coin, but I'm also pretty sure that it's at it. I think it's a coin of nothingness. Uh, I'd give it a quick, gentle clean up and have a look just in case. Ah, that's a shame. I've got no idea what that is, but God, that is an old, old coin. That really is, you can tell by how thin it is. I wonder what that was. Ah, it's a bit frustrating, isn't it? Oh, look, we might even have a uh, another Queen Victoria there. I think this one's in slightly better condition. Uh, half penny, perhaps. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let me do a quick clean up. Ah, now, unlike the other coin, which was uh, Queen Victoria, good day to you, Mum. This one does have a date, and it is 1888. All the eights, my friend. Isn't that a beauty? That's in really good condition, actually. I'm quite happy about that. It's going to clean up quite nicely, that one is. Yes, good, fantastic. Good Lord, man, it's a silver stator. Would you look at that? Or not? It's half a button with some silver stuff on the front. You fool! That tricked my face. I hate you. I tell you what, there's a big, big, big question mark about what this is, bleepers. You ready for this? It's a question mark! 
All right, and then we have a dome-shaped button there. Nothing amazing. Oh. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a little realm. It's a miniature little terrarium type thing. Oh, my God, that's so cool. Can you see? It's like a little land with a tree. That is the coolest little thing I have ever found in my life. Look, it's got, <laughs> it's got, get off, look, oh, hold on one sec, I'm trying to stand it up, there you go, where is it, look, it's a little realm, with, with grass, and a tree, oh my god, that's cool, I wonder if I can keep it alive, do you think I can keep that alive, I'm going to try and keep that alive, yes, and I've got myself a little hammered, Woo! And it is teeny, my friends. I think most of the definitions come off from that side, but I can definitely tell you that it is a hammered. It's a sil little piece of silver hammered. Really old coin. Perhaps medieval. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a date off it because it's so blooming small. Look how small that is. Whoa. All right, I'm going to try and get a date off of it. I've got a dog barking at me. Woof. <laughs> He's gone now. Yeah, got no... <laughs> that's his owner shouting at him. Um, yeah, I've got nothing. But I reckon one of you real clever bods out there could probably figure out what that is. Anybody? I'll try and give you as much detail as possible. We are on video, obviously. Not much to go on, I'm afraid. I can't get a date off it. But as I said, it is absolutely teeny. Pause the screen if you have to. Such a shame. Right, one of these dogs is about to kill me, so I'm going to go. <laughs> it's okay, the dogs didn't kill me. Dogs like me, uh, and I like dogs. Right, okay then, I've got another coin here. I can see it's a coin because it's so thin. So I wouldn't say it was a button. Let's uh, have a quick double check. Yes, good, good, good. Right next to where that hammy was. So I reckon all of these have probably got a similar age, perhaps. Something's been going on here. This one is a coin of nothingness by the looks of it. I'll do a quick clean up. Okay, so I changed my original prediction to a coin of near nothingness. Because over here, you can see some lettering. And you can just, the head there, just make out the head. I'm going to say a George of some sort. Can you just see that there? I don't know if it's coming across on the camera too well. I would say that's a George of some sort. Ah, strange around here, isn't it? A few coins coming up. Maybe somebody was having some rumpy pumpy. And a big old lead musket ball there. Just pretty much sitting on the surface. Nice little find. Oh, and it's another little hammered. But this time in a lesser form as a love token. Still a great find, still a piece of silver, still technically a hammered. It's a love token. There's nothing on it, which means pure love. Oh, it's so romantic. <laughs> and a big piece of lead there that will go into the, into the lead pile and I'll cash that in as soon as it gets big enough, hoorah. Right, there's a little fella there. You can't really see it because of the sun situation, but it's just, <laughs> it is so cool. It's like a, its own ecosystem. It's got moss there and mud inside of the button, which I think is an old military button, by the way. And there's a tree. I reckon I could get that and turn that into a native terrarium. So that means I can put it into something, block off the air, but it'll become its own ecosystem effectively. Hmm. Watch this space bleepers. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.